Hey guys, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dehra Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz on Lee Chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible making sure that we understand all the lines and the flow of the game and post the game we'll do a quick match analysis as well where we analyze the computer lines and see what could have been done better at that point of time. Before we start off with the game I would request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily. So yeah, let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Got the black pieces here. I'll play the Karukan defense, which starts with c6, followed by d5. He plays the advanced variation, so he's pretty much aware of what is happening here. And that's why the move h4. We'll play h6, retrieving the making a retrieval square for the bishop. Uh, some chance to loosen up his pawn structure. So I'll play bishop first and then bring back the bishop eventually. So offering bishop exchange. Uh, we can take here or yeah, let's take. And now pawn to e6. Okay, he's coming in with the entire pawn army. We'll just play bishop to e7. Trying to take on the pawn on h4 and that comes with a check as well so we will spoil his castle for sure probably i can take on the pawn here should i or just i should retrieve my piece here um let's take okay he takes back with the pawn I think I should just bring my bishop back here. We can exchange bishops as well. Uh, that can be problematic if he plays the... That should not be problematic. Let's see. This king is in the center. So is mine. But I can take with the queen now. Threatening to go on g2 with a check and then taking on the rook and if i need to castle then just develop the knight maybe here okay he's trying to defend the pawn i think i should develop this knight first then attack the pawn you can take with the queen offering him queen exchange if he wants to we'll be pawn up couple of pawns up so that should be sorted just playing too fast okay um there's a pawn hanging there can we take or we should just exchange queens exchanging queens should be very nice though but okay uh, let's take develop the other knight and then castle long Okay, we can just move the pawn ahead on g5, defending the pawn. Yep, let's castle. King is pretty safe now. We are two pawns ahead. Should not be a problem winning it from here. The pawn is under attack, so rook to f8. I don't see any threats for now, but yeah, let's take on the knight. Knight is going on f4. Uh, we should exchange the knights. Or I should let him take. If he takes, my king comes in the center as well. That should be fine. Let's see what he does. He can take on the knight, he does. We'll take back with the king. Now we just need to take control of the things here. His knight is not going anywhere, so... Can I just move my knight back and somewhere else then? Or let's go from here. Here lines. 
we also can align the rooks defending the pawn okay he plays pawn here if i take i'm losing out on the rook i can take back with knight once but then i lose the piece so king to e7 let's take with the rook he takes the knight that was nice i have to exchange the rooks here another option oh he doesn't i'll ask him again he takes this time and lots of pawns should be helpful check goes back can i push him backwards i can probably king over here just trying to push the pawns forward piece up Okay, let's go back. Pawn ahead. I think these pawns should be able to control. If I move the pawn, he comes ahead. So first king I should take. Let's give a check. Let's see where he goes. It's 58 seconds on the clock remaining. We goofed up at one place. It's okay. Oh, I think I should win this now. I'm going towards his king faster. And we have a pass pawn. That's more than enough. We'll take the pawn. We'll take the other pawn as well. Queen comes. Stop the pawn first. Move the pawn forward and get a queen quick. Here we go. Huh? 30 seconds is more than enough to mate. So he resigns. So we yep, we goofed up in the in between, but we managed to put it back. Actually, it was I won't say it, it was a goof up. Uh, he played very well that that point of time. Uh there was some miscalculation as well maybe oh exact same games have also been played uh so yeah let's go back and see what happened in the game e4 c6 d5 the karo khan defends he moves forward the advanced variation if you haven't watched it before uh, i'll just share um, one of my videos link above and in the description below so that you can learn these lines he plays h4 here and I respond with h6, making a retrieval square for my bishop. And then he plays g4. I go on e4 with the idea of making his uh, kingside pawns weakened up. Uh, and now, of course, he if he castles on the king side, that's very really bad for him. I bring back the bishop on h7. He asks for bishop exchange, which I take. He takes back with the queen. Pawn to e6, all standard moves, playing the best moves at this point of time. Oh, I had to break up the f file, uh, the c file open up uh, completely, but I chose to develop the bishop on e7. And he ignores the fact that he can be given a check. I first give him a check with the bishop, then capture on the other pawn. He takes back. And then I offer him bishop exchange, which he does. We take back with, with the queen, and probably, yes, black is ahead. In evaluation here 1.5 points and then he plays queen to f3 defending the pawn so knight e7 attacking the pawn he uh, develops the knight now on h3 so taking with the queen again the right move um yeah here i should have taken the pawn there was a free pawn but i was actually thinking to simplify the game by exchanging the queens uh, Okay, we're going good here, knight to d7. He brings the rook here. Again, the best move, g5. 
he gets in the rook on f1 and we castle on the queen side so things are pretty good here he goes back with the knight we try and defend uh, the f7 by moving the rook on f8 here he plays knight to g4 and i respond with knight to g6 okay what should i have i done there knight to g8 was the move so that i'm stopping him from coming on over here now i can simply take if he takes back with the pawn that's still okay i can now just get my rook on the empty file and attack so okay i missed that part he gets in the knight uh computer says thing you should take but i let him take after he takes i take back with the king this is also still winning for black here 3.3 I think there should have been one bad move at least, which turned the game completely. Okay, this is one of them, uh, b5, letting him align his rooks, so he does. Oh, this was the game changer, rook on h7, that gave him opportunity to take on the knight, but still he goes for pawn ahead. Oh, I just had to bring, yes, king was correctly placed here, he takes with the pawn. Uh, I took with the wrong rook here. That's the problem. If I take with the rook here, then he has to forcefully take it because if he doesn't now, he's going to lose out on the rook. Uh, and that's two rooks versus rook and knight, which should be winning for black, especially with extra pawns. And his knight is pretty inactive sitting on the edge file. So, yeah, uh, slight error in judgment there. And then I lose a piece. He's 2.5, 2.4 ahead now in the game, but we made a comeback. That's always nice to see. Just trying to go for a exchange. He doesn't. Then I offer him again. He takes this time. I take back. Just trying to go ahead on the queen side, uh, on the uh, on the king side, uh, and just trying to make sure that king is in the center in the end game. We are pushing our pawns forward, and we just continue with the pawn attack. And it's a draw situation here, interestingly, as for the computer, despite he has got a piece. Uh, that's how these two strong pawns uh, were in the, in the game. So we continue with our uh, king and pawn storm. He gives some check, but then we again find a way to move the pawns forward. And he's not breaking up in the situation on the other side of the board. Uh, he had a symmetrical structure, didn't break anything. I give him a check and now he decides to take because yeah, it's already too late. He has to take here. He takes and after I take back, he has to take with the king and that's the, the whole problem. Now if you see my king is more towards, more closer towards the opposition uh, pawns here. So these can be captured very quickly. And the king, uh, opponent's king has to take uh, a lot more moves to reach and capture the base of the pawn chain. So, of course, Black was earlier to reach there and take on the pawn. Took a couple of pawns, um, then just place king on the C file and just keep pushing the pawn forward. And then he tries to break through from the A file, which we take back. He pushes the pawn forward. I push A3 first. He pushes on B6, so queen comes. He plays pawn to B7 here. I give him a check with the queen, then just pushing the pawn forward. Oh, that was mate in one. Should have just caught the queen there. Yeah, but I was just playing fast and trying to just make sure that it's a win situation completely. So yeah, nice game. Uh, and I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. If you did, please do subscribe to the channel, press on the bell icon and don't miss out on any of the videos. Stay tuned and I hope you will learn a lot from this channel. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.